Did an IDF Merkava tank run over an art installation at the Rafa border crossing? Yes. Okay, end of video. It's Miller time. Or, I guess maybe Michelob Ultra time. It is 2100 and the night does belong to Michelob. Okay, I'm just kidding. Look, there's more to it than that and some that may involve the LOAC or Law of Armed Conflict. So first I'm going to show you the video and then I'm going to explain how the simple act of running over a sign might actually violate the LOAC. Quick note, if you're watching this on Substack, you're going to hear sound. If you're watching this on YouTube, the video won't have sound. And the reason why sound is important will be made clear in a few minutes. If you want to check out the video with sound, go to ryanbet.substack.com. It's free. Although, if you want to toss me five bucks to support my work, I'm not going to say no. If you are in NATO or allied military and you want a copy of this video to use as a training tool, send me an email. I will get you a copy as a download. Here's the video. Okay, this was taken right here. Note the fountain, note the walkway, and this concrete pad is the welcome sign or this art installation. Rafah is the only border crossing between Egypt and Gaza. A lot of aid comes through this point. The Palestinian city of Rafah is basically the last stronghold of militant forces. There might be maybe four to five battalions remaining, so if you take Rafah, you finish the fight. And Israel instructed the citizens of Rafah to move southeast to this part of the map right here or north to some farmland uh, that's west of Khan Yunus. So once enough people leave, Israel's probably going to push into the town from the south and west. Uh, also note, you don't necessarily want to surround the town. Uh, if you surround the town, people might fight to the death. You don't necessarily want that. You want squirters to get out of that town and head north because they are of intelligence value. Uh, they're going to move toward tunnels and safe houses and ammunition caches that are south of Khan Yunus. So it's just another chance to get more intel on where the militants are going because you're watching them do this or they're using signals intelligence saying, you know, hey, open up the door. I'm outside. Now, the person who posted this video is named Ite Blumenthal. He works for Israel's KN11 News. Now, in the post, Mr. Blumenthal said documentation, the tanks of the 401st Brigade took over the Rafa crossing. Now, here's why this is bad. Not just a bad look, but bad. We've all heard of the Geneva Conventions, and that is the minimum standard of human behavior during wartime. The LOAC, or Law of Armed Conflict, overlays the Geneva Convention with rules of proportionality and military necessity. I'll have a link to the LOAC below. And that's kind of why I'm talking about this. Was there a military necessity to run over this art installation? Was the art piece taking a direct part in hostilities? was destroying the art piece a military objective. And that's kind of why I'm talking about this. Was there a military necessity to run over this art installation? Was the art piece taking direct part in hostilities? Was destroying the art piece a major military objective? You know, once in a while you hear Israelis say, uh, why are we held to such a high standard? Well, because it's in the freaking book. The thing we all kind of agreed upon as civilized nations to follow in the event of war? Without rules, you're just a mob of rampaging Vikings, but with tanks and JDAMs. And you don't just have to crack the book. Your soldiers have to understand it. And your non-commissioned officers, your sergeants, they have to enforce it. And for a moment, let's just forget about the LOAC. If I were a bad guy, and uh, I notice how Israel likes to tear up art installations and monuments like the MV Mavi Mamara monument, that's where I'm putting IEDs, or improvised explosive devices. So if you don't want to listen to the LOAC, listen to me. Iraq was full of improvised explosive devices. They cast them in concrete. They put them in bags on the side of the road. It's all fun and games running over art pieces until one blows up in your face, and now you have to tell your driver's mom that he died because you were stupid. Who wants to be the last Israeli soldier to die in this operation? Because this is sure as heck of a way of becoming that guy. Now, the only thing here that would make any sense in running over that sign would be if the vehicle were under fire in combat. If that's the case, all bets are off. Yeah, roll over that sign. If you have to get out of the kill zone, if you have to move to a more advantageous position, yeah, screw that sign. Go. And that's why if you watch this on Substack, this video is a little different. 
You can actually hear firing in the audio, although I don't know who is doing the firing, but that particular unit might be an active combat or close to active combat. Uh, I couldn't show the sound on YouTube because YouTube doesn't like the sound of machine guns sometimes, so watch it on Substack. So the driver in this case might be trying to move, but he also might not be too surgical about where he's going. But I'm telling you, if you do this for fun, it's going to cost you. You know, one of the reasons I do this channel is that I want younger NCOs to learn from me. I did this stuff for 20 freaking years. So I made this video Creative Commons. Feel free to download it and translate it to whatever language you want and show it to your soldiers. If you're an NCO, you owe it to your soldiers to keep them safe. That doesn't just include bringing them home. It includes making sure that your soldiers return home with honor. Teach your soldiers a low act. Make sure they understand the danger of improvised explosive devices as well. This video is Creative Commons. Feel free to download it, translate it, and if you want a copy of this video, send me an email. It's on my website. If you want to support the channel, head on over to Bunker Branding. Get yourself a Behoove t-shirt or a set of stickers. It's a great gift for anybody who says Behoove too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey everyone, new Ryan Macbeth t-shirts and hoodies from Bunker Branding are available. I'm going to get the High Mars shirt. What are you going to get, Donald? The Patriot shirt, because I'm a Patriot. It's the best shirt, the biggest shirt. Make 14 tangos great again. What are you going to get, Barack? Let me be clear. I'm going to get a drone sweet drone shirt. What about you, George? I'm going to get a Trident missile shirt because they're weapons of mass destruction. Oh, I'm going to get a landmine marker shirt because my presidency always blew up in my face. I'll tell you what I'm going to get. Ronald Reagan, but you're dead. I came back to tell you that no matter our politics, we're all Americans. And we should buy Ryan's hoodies and t-shirts because they pay for the stock footage and licenses that allow him to make awesome content. So come on down to Bunker Branding and buy a Ryan Beth t-shirt or I'll start the bombing in five minutes.